Salutations over this Highland Cannon 7 bringing you some more Dead Alive 3. Um, I'm playing because of a request from one of my YouTube uh, fans, one of my subscribers, and that is T Hall. T Hall requested that I should complete every single character in story mode under the difficulty of very hard. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Shout out to T Hall. Anyway, here we go. We got Kasumi here against Christy. Which is obviously this is Christy's first game. For this game, introduce Christy, Brad Wong, and uh, I think he's one more person. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's, it might be uh, uh, Hayate, right? Yeah. Because uh, I was in number two. And they never introduced Hayata yet until this game. Anyway, yeah. And if I'm right, Kasumi is a runaway shinobi. She's uh, broke the code of shinobi by running away. If I'm wrong, comment in the text, uh, comment section down below. And, um, and if you comment, like, and subscribe and turn on notification, especially subscribe, then you'll be blessed with some more of Dead or Alive 3 and also the Dead or Alive 4 in the new fit near future and also Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate in the near future as well. Well in the classic uh one, a sibling rivalry between um Aya Ayane and uh Kasumi. My money's on uh Kasumi to win this match obviously obviously I'm playing as well. Anyway, yeah. This game, this map is pretty big for this game. It's one of the most. When I think of Dead Life Three, I think of this stage. And I think of the uh, HK Dio Tech Tower stage where you can kick him off three places. Uh, there's two ways to kick him off uh, on the building, in the building. And there's uh, one way to kick him off through the lab where there is, I believe it's uh, it's because I mean it's Alpha Kasumi. Clones of Kasumis, which I don't know the storyline for that part either. Comment in the section below if you know that storyline. All I know is, um, I believe Kasumi is the uh, half brother of Ayn or Hayate. If I'm right, cheers. If I'm wrong, sorry, man. This Kasumi is one of the strongest characters in the game, like I said before. Same with Hayabusa. She doesn't look that strong, but trust me, she's a tough cookie. One well, move that really is cheap is probably a windmill move. Anyway, it looks like I'm going to lose her. I don't think so, so I'll say no. Wait, it's close. Finish her off. Yep. It's over. Ah, oh, he told me he beat me. Never mind. There's always a next time. Anyway, here we go. This game is one of my favourite Dead Alive games, mainly because this is Intagaki's work. According to uh, one of the uh, producers of the new Dead Alive, which was Tom Lee, he says Intagaki wanted things right. For this game, it was like being in the military, that's what it was like. That's like he said. That's why he wanted the games are so perfect, especially when this game was released in 2001. is an Xbox original exclusive. After, yeah, there's been a Dead Live game, it's been on the Dreamcast and the PlayStation 2. But anyway, this is the part I was talking about. I don't know what relationship these two have, whether they're half brothers, it's our half brothers and sisters correct me before or uh, actual brothers and sisters I really don't know I don't know much about this game I know Iron gets crippled and he loses his memory was it the Tengu or was it Raido I don't know you know what to do tell me uh, in the comment section anyway yeah here we go Hayate after trying to defeat Hayate here is one of the sub bosses yeah that's another way to put it it looks like Hayato is going to win this match. 
That move is different than before. That move is longer in their live uh, fall. Where if you do the first part of it, you can turn into like a combo, and you get this part. You can just kick him up in the air and combo them. The same people who use the Zuna drop as well. The first part of these Zuna drops are combo. Just like Tekken 4. And then when this game came out like the same time as it. Just like Tekken 4, you can't really juggle much. And the new Tekken you can more. This is more same to be do with Dead Alive. And obviously Dead Alive has been always been ahead of its time. And it made look Tekken look like rubbish. Trust me. Compare this game to Tekken 4. There's more coming out of the background and stuff like that. And it just looks more realistic. Anyway, yeah. It's a lot more, it's more realistic. It looks more sh well, better. It's the power of the Xbox original compared to the power of the PlayStation 2. Even though PlayStation 2 is their Life 2 Ultimate. Sorry, not the Ultimate Hardcore. If, it, if you're playing the American version. It was obviously, it was more of a head of Tekken 4. There's more stuff going on. And the, and the environments are more beautiful and authentic compared to the Tekken 4. Which Tekken 4 is a... Backgrounds are more colourful and stuff like that. Anyway, I had some trouble defeating this guy here. Pretty much in all my videos, I had trouble defeating this guy. Anyway, this is uh, the first character. 2T Hall's uh, request. This is the first character I will be playing as. I will do the rest later. Anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, here we go. If I can defeat Gamera here, I don't think I will. Gamera's probably got the match one. Like, the reason why I have trouble defeating Gamera is because the uh, his moves, he, ki he knocks you away. He tries his best to knock you away so he has space. So he can throw fireballs at you, or energy balls. And, and if you get close to him, he either knocks you away with a headbutt, Hits you with his uh, lightsaber, or uh, throws you, or grapples you, or whatever you want to call it. And this boss fight was in Dead Alive 2 Dimensions, and it's very different. It's not as hard. And that's the only game that I liked when Nizagaki was obviously gone from the series. It's kind of sad how Dead Alive 6 came out. I mean, it's a good game, but it's not the best. Anyway, here we go. Come like and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more. Shout out to T Hall for this great request. Anyway, bye. Thank you.